Welcome back to that Paris Saint-Germain Super League career mode and as you guys can see from looking at the table there's a few games that have gone by simply because I was a twat, I deleted my gameplay from the Elgato software before it had finished exporting and I didn't even notice lads so both of those episodes actually got corrupted so I'm going to show you guys the games anyway nevertheless as you guys know in the last episode we had Schalke, we won 2-1 after winning Inter 2-1. We then had, had a Coupe de Ligue match against Inter Milan, which is basically like the FA Cup, the Carling Cup, the Capital One Cup, whatever you want to call it. But we lost that on purpose, on penalties. We simulated the game until we lost, and I was doing that throughout that episode, and that just pissed me off, mate. But we lost the game against Inter Milan with our second team out there. We then went ahead and beat Zenic 2-0. I think the goals from Ibra, both of them, I'm not sure. I don't remember who they were for from for every game. But I'm going to try and remember, lads. From Juventus's game, we won 3-1. Messi, Vardy and Ibra getting the goals from what I can remember. Then Manchester City, we managed to beat them and thrash them 4-0. And we, very, we took a lot of pride in that, lads. As you guys know, I'm a Man United supporter. To beat Man City 4-0 is a very good achievement for me. I like it. I like it a lot. Messi, nine goal, and then two goals from Vardy in that game, from what I remember. Anyway, we had a game against Barcelona. We went down 1 0. We came back up with two goals one from Ibra, one from Lucas, from what I can remember. I don't even remember who scored, lads. I'm making these up from the top of my head. But from what I can remember, we, I know we, we came back from 1-0 down because I was saying it in the episode. I was like, this is the first time we have been tested. Can we come back and score more goals than our opposition? And Barcelona was the squad we were versing as well. And just to let you guys know, Barcelona didn't even play Robin. I don't know what happened. I think it was because it was two hours before the end of the transfer deadline day. And obviously... They didn't have enough time to finalise the deal, I guess. But yeah, we had a game against Atletico Madrid. We drew that 1-1. I'm not even sure who won that game. And then we had the last game that was against Borussia Dortmund. We won 3-0. Royce against his old club. That must have been good to pick up for him. Also, I just want to let you guys know that I have changed a few things just the kit numbers you guys have been bugging me about the kit numbers i have changed a few of them as you can see royce is now 11 messi is now 10 ibra's moved to 9 we've got vardy on 12 who was 11 i think it was lucas no he's 7 who was who was 11 di maria di maria was 11 and di maria is now 17 so yeah we've changed a few numbers nine golan's 18 between he's staying 14 i tried to keep players that were there already, the numbers that they already had, but change a few. You know, Di Maria probably would wear a 17 number, so we had to get Royce on that 11, obviously. So we had to give him something new, or maybe we can move the 7 to Di Maria, put the 17 on Lucas. Now we'll keep it how it is for now. That's basically an update for you guys. Let's get into the episode. All right, now that you guys have been updated, we've got a massive game against Sevilla. We're playing away. Can we pick up the win? We've got Vardy playing up top. Lucas and Messi on the wings. Pastore, Nyan Golan, and Mota in the middle of the park. We've got Kazawa, David Luiz, Riderwald, I think is how you pronounce that, and Van der Weel at the back. Trapping goal. Let's go win against Sevilla. Here's Thiago Mota out to Messi. He's got Pastore with him. Skip past him easily. Vardy's in the middle. Oh, Vardy nearly won that. Vardy! Oh, he got a shot away. They gave me that shot. They gifted it to me. Thiago Mota. Out to Lucas. Lucas could play it in now. Turn nine. Goal and from distance. And it's a beauty for the little Belgian man. And he's picked up yet again another goal here at Paris Saint-Germain, mate. What a signing for 20 million. This guy is a beautiful player to play with. Look at him. The little man can do everything. Oh, what a finish. Mariano. Played forward. Gamero. Into Enzonzi. They're coming forward now. Sevilla looking for the goal back and they've got it. Flipping out. What a finish as well. Right into the bottom left hand corner. We really should have been defending better there. But they've picked up a goal. 1-1. One, one. It's a good goal as well. Lucas has taken him on. Play it forward. Thiago Mota. Make that run for me, lad. Okay, we'll pick up Vardy. It's Vardy. Little ball roll as well. Vardy. Oh, skip past him like he wasn't even there. Vardy using a bit of skill. It's Jamie Vardy. It's come back out. It's on over the bar from Messi. I thought that was going into the back of the net, mate. That was a big chance missed. 
Royce just come on the pitch. He's up to take the free kick, actually. Play this one short. Oh, yes! It's him again. Nine goal, and I thought I'd play it short, and it's ended up in the back of the net. What a goal, lads. Two long shots for nine goal, and he's a revelation here at PSG. I'm telling you, he was good at Roma, but he's just great here at PSG. Look at that, a little bit of curl on it as well. Pastore, go on, Royce, make that run for me. Here goes Royce. Oh, yes, Royce. Beautiful. Here he goes. Here he goes. Royce cuts it back. It's a not. What the hell was that, Paco? There it is. Oh my god, it felt like a flipping lifetime. Waiting for that flipping whistle. We'll take it though, we've won the game 2-1 through two fantastic nine goal and goals. Whew, this is good lads. We're picking up wins without Ibra, Royce, those kind of players on the pitch. Alright, here we go, we've got a massive game up against one of PSG's massive rivals, Olympic Leoness. We've got Messi playing right wing, Di Maria in cam, Royce and Ibra up top. We've got Nyan Golan sitting in the middle of the park. We've got Matuidi in CDM, Kazawa, David Luiz, Silva and Oriever at the back. Sirigu starting in goal. Let's go get a win against these boys. Let's go show them we are the best and we can do what the best do. And that's win, obviously. Kazawa, why get away with this Kazawa, come on. Come on, Kazawa. We've got Royce there with us. Here goes Royce. It's Royce. Oh my god, he's been brought down. It's a penalty. And Royce has been brought down in the box. And it's a penalty to Paris Saint Germain. It's actually nine Golan, I think. No, it was. Yeah, it was nine Golan. Nearly got himself yet again another goal. Royce has stepped up for it, though. But you know who's going on it. Ibra freaking Imovic, mate. Here we go, it's Ibra, Himovic and what a goal mate, it's 1-0 on the penalty spot, steps up the big man, Ibra Himovic, he's converted it, no way, no hey, no, no way, Jose, Lopez was getting to that one, what a goal from Ibra, Di Maria to Matuidi, into Ibra, oh for God's sake, alright, alright, we've got this, Royce, into Ibra, Ibra's turned him off, it's two, and we've got it, and it's again the big man who has stepped up for us. He has been doing well before the update, lads, who were in the other episodes that are recorded and they were corrupt, and now he's doing well for us in-game, so you guys can see it. Hopefully this don't get corrupt, because that would be awkward, and you guys would see, you wouldn't even see this. Why am I talking? I don't know. Played forward, Matuidi, into Royce. Support from Ibrahimovic. What the hell? The injured David Luiz. Kalulalu. Come on, get that out. There we go. The full time whistle's gone. Don't know what was happening. People were kicking each other by the end of that game. But yeah, it was 2 0. Big goals from Ibrahimovic. A penalty and a goal from Ibrahimovic, may I add. But yes, it's a good goal. A good goal, a good game. Good clean sheet for Sirigu. It's another win for Paris Saint Germain, mate. 2 0. Player injured. David Luiz is out for four weeks. By the way, we've already got backup for David Luiz now. Marquinhos is his backup. Ryder Wild is basically replacing Marquinhos. Let's see what you've done in training, lads. I want to see some good results from you. Messi has gone up to a 95 overall. He's going to grow. He's going to grow. Alright lads, this is a big game up against Valencia. Not because it's Valencia, but because one of their goal scorers, Paul, is second in the top goal scorers list right now. So hopefully we can keep him at bay. Ibrahimovic is up top. We've got Di Maria in centre forward. Messi playing right wing. Royce in cam. We've got Pastore in the middle. Nine goal and playing defensive mid. Kazawa, Marquinhos coming in for David Luiz. Silva and Oria at the back. Sirigu playing in goal once again. And hopefully, if we could just change this up a bit. Paco Alcesa can come on as a substitute against his old club and maybe get himself a goal. You never know. Nine goal and to take the free kick. Played short. Ibra. Ibra's turned him off while it's Ibra. It's 1-0 to Paris Saint-Germain. Ibrahimovic is back, lads. And he's back. He's real bad. He's scoring near enough every goal for us right now. He's popped it into the back of the net. He's going for that top goal scorer's like, top of the list spot. You'll see him up there, lads. Just give it time. A little bit of time. Not much. There's Ibra. Ibra's got support from Di Maria. Di Maria's got support from Royce. This is good football. Royce can cut inside. It's Royce. Oh, what a save from Diego Alves. Beauty save. Come on, Di Maria. 
Go on, Di Maria. Good ball. Ibra. Oh, the ball is on to Pastore for number two. Diego Alves pulling it yet again. Another save. Here's Di Maria. Lost the ball. Negredo. Over the top. No. Oh, my God. Mustafi. What's he doing up there? They've gone out on all out attack. That was a massive chance. Faguli. Faguli. Oh, he just stopped the cross. Oh. Well, that was just crap, wasn't it? Last kick of the game, and he wants to do that with it. Anyway, we've won the game 1-0 against Valencia. A good goal from Ibra Frikinimovic. Once again, pulling off a winning goal for us. He's just a winner. He's the winner for us. Big man up top, you can't complain. Player returning from injury, David Luiz is coming back into the squad. All right, lads, the transfer market is open. Also, we've got a transfer offer already in for Sirigu, 16 million. He's an excellent form though. If we can get a replacement like Handanovic for Sirigu, we can try get around 30 million. Let's go 30 million for Sirigu. Another transfer offering for two players actually, 38 million for Marco Royce from Bayern Munich. We only paid 35 million for him, but we're gonna say give us 90 million because I don't wanna sell him nice. But if they come back with 90 million, surely we have to get rid of Royce and bring in Cristiano Ronaldo. Up to you guys, man. But anyway, moving on, they were offered 16.5 for David Luiz Newcastle. We don't really want to sell him either, but if they come back with like 45 million, then we'll sell David Luiz as well. But let me know in the comment section below, lads, who you guys want me to buy for this transfer window. We're going to end the episode there. You guys can have a look at the table. 19 games in, and we're at the top with 53 points. Bayern is second with 38 points. Real Madrid only three points. Three points. Three points behind them. Man United in the Champions League position as well. Valencia's in fifth. Manchester City and Juventus look like they're going to get relegated. Sevilla so not far off though, neither is Schalke. Liverpool's down there as well after starting off good. Boston's in 14th. Chelsea 13th, kind of realistic, but it's a Super League. It's not realistic. But yeah, moving on. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. It has been me. You guys have been great. As always, smash that like button down below for a free orgasm. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. It's always appreciated. Also, comment in the comment section who you want me to buy and who you want me to sell. But for now, it's been me. You guys have been great, and I'm out. Peace. Welcome back to Bulls Got Gaming, this is your boy Senny and once again we have ourselves a squad builder. Looking at this squad, as you guys can see, we're starting off with Leno in goal. We've got 84 diving, 85 reflexes, 84 handling, 81 kicking, 83 p positioning, piecing.